you get going, man. They just bought the grid. Huh? They just bought the grid. You should get going. Okay. Yeah, go. Had a little bit of issues yesterday with transmission and we had to replace it. Good morning guys, welcome to Daytona. We are here for day two. Hopefully we make it out for fall flying. Fall flying is about 20 minutes. I'm gonna get dressed real quick. Um, we still got a few things to do on the car, so I'm really gonna try focusing in on getting rushing. So not to be short with you guys, I gotta go. We're in a rush right now, so I'll be after. Transmission officially fixed it. Felt so much quicker. Finally got some bump drafting in. It was night and day. Like night and day. Oh, we worked our asses off. Juan worked his ass off. I helped, but Juan and, and Jonathan saved my ass basically. <laughs> so thanks to them. Back on track. We're gonna make sure everything's good with the car. We're gonna go over real quick. But uh, yeah, I think we're ready for race. Uh, Race number two since we didn't compete in race number one yesterday. But thank you. Good job. Thank you, thank you so much. We were able to make qualifying today. Now I just got to prepare for two races. I got to put the car back up. Maybe tighten a couple more nuts that might be loose. <laughs> but nothing unsafe. Just want to make sure everything's tidy. But we wanted to make qualifying, so it's a plus for us. We're going to get into the work right now, so I'll catch you guys after. So uh, we're going to change the fronts around a little bit. Race was pretty good you know obviously being in the 1.6 I can definitely tell now kind of bites it <laughs> um, other than being a little lighter and being able to break deeper it doesn't have the power that the 1.8s have um, especially on the straightaways these are we have two massive straightaways here obviously I'm gonna get left behind if I'm not stuck to somebody so that was a little bumping it bummed me out but the race was great it was really good I, I got to practice my heel toe we got I got way quicker the start of the race was great I mean I just went to accidentally went to uh, third instead of second I should have had the extra power to get out because you know when everything gets jammed up a little bit because I, I got a really good start, I got past a lot of people, but I lost all the positions again because I was in third. Uh, not the end of the world, we did came here to practice and we did that exact thing. We practiced and we got way better at heel toe, I mean way better. So I'm happy with today's results, um, we have one more race, uh, hopefully it doesn't rain, there's going to be a lot of cars in that one so it's going to be even more practice. I just want to work on my little careless mistakes, you know learning something new you're going to make careless mistakes still. So. I'm excited. Gonna go into the next race strong. Gonna go look at data now. Um, gotta look at my car and make sure everything's okay. See you uh, next race. These guys have been going pretty hard for the past three weeks. 
working working hard, driving, entertaining us, hanging out. You know, naps are essential between races, that's for sure. That's what I was telling you, I think tires were going, by the way. Yeah. Because it wasn't like the rear end of the car was stepping up. It was more like the all four tires were just sliding at that point. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we have finished Daytona. It was amazing, to be honest. Uh, I had a great time with Juan. We drove the Miata, the 1.6. It was a great car. I just really wish we had a little bit more power with the 1.8, but hey, it really made me practice and try to catch up to everybody with the 1.6 and drive even harder and really speed up the learning process with the H pattern and the heel toe. And I can officially say I can race heel toe now. Um, I'm very happy with the way that the results went out this weekend. It was more of a practice for me. Obviously, I want to win. Obviously, I want to race and, and take the podiums. But today, you know, I really wanted to focus in on the heel toe and make sure I get that nailed down, not hurt any engines, not, um, you know, destroy any cars. It's just in case if I go race Trans Am or something with an H pattern, I understand what's going on with the engine and I know how to do it. So coming away from this week, these last two days, I think it was a success. I learned how to do H pattern. I learned how to do heel toe way better. And I learned how to race Miatas in a field of, I think there was 50 cars in that field. So I had to do be super aware of what's going around me, have to make sure that I can get people by me and make sure I, I tuck right underneath them, you know, because there's a lot of different classes racing with us right now. So I'm extremely happy. I can't thank Juan enough for helping me out. Um, we had to replace all transmission. It was a crazy two days. Daytona is probably one of my new, not my favorite track, but it's one of my favorite turn, more favorite tracks because the bus stop, everything about it, it's just a really fast paced track. I would love to come here. I mean, love. If anybody ever, hey, hit me up if you're coming to Daytona and you're doing a series here and you want to need a co-driver or you need another driver, hit me up. I want to come back. I want to do the Daytona 24 hours. It's a dream of mine. We're going to make it happen. 2021, oh, actually, no, it already happened. 2022, we're going to make it happen. I promise you'll see me there. Uh, as always, guys, I hope you spread some love today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more fun content. I promise it's all the best here. See you next time.